we talk about the archaeological background. Uh, the island of Anglesey is rich in Neolithic archaeology. It has at least 30 burial um, chambers, rock art panels and settlement sites. Brinkethley D is the most famous monument of on the island of Anglesey. The monument is a Neolithic chamber tomb built between 3074 and 2956 BC. Um, the chamber and passageway were dug in 1865 by Francois Dubois Lucas of Guernsey and by W.J. Hemp in 1925 in an attempt to conserve the monument. The tomb survives today as a chamber and passage covered by a low mound and bounded by a 25 metre diameter ditch. And that is it, right up there. Um, the current public archaeology landscape project, project runs in June and July each year. It is the result of a collaboration between Dr. Sarah Griffiths of University of Central Lancashire, Dr. Fionn Reynolds of Cadu, and Dr. Ben Edwards of Manchester Metropolitan University. The public archaeology is a core value of the project. The um, that seeks to be responsive, creative, and to be based on relationships developed with people. Each year, a series of events takes place in 2018, including an archaeology festival, which comprise of local volunteers, excavators, digging on site, an open day, local young archaeologists club excavation day, school visits, stargazing events, and solstice events, a museum exhibition about the excavation's findings, um, a public lecture uh, series at the museum, a landscape treasure trail, and a series of artist residencies. The annual project Archaeology Open Day takes place at Brinkethley Dee on the closest Saturday to the summer solstice, which is around 21st of June. The Open Day includes educational stalls, craft activities, experimental archaeology activities, local archaeology organisations, children's activities including storytelling and performances, and groups and organisations delivered activities at these events. Each year this event attracts hundreds of visitors, though it is highly weather dependent. Um, the total figures of the Open Days are 300 visitors attended in 2015, 716 visitors attended in 2016, 700 visitors attended in 2017, and 650 visited visitors attended this year in 2018. So our research aims were, as undergraduate archaeology and anthropology students, we were volunteering on the project in addition to our compulsory field work. We were interested in better understanding the motivations of people that attended the Open Day. We designed a survey to ascertain these views prior to the Open Day, <laughs> and Sarah helped us to achieve University Ethics Committee clearance for the survey. So the aims of the survey were to identify current attitudes to prehistoric archaeology among members of the public who visit Brinkethley D. Secondly, to capture anonymous demographics about who visits prehistoric heritage sites in Wales using Brinkethley D as a case study. And to identify ways to best disseminate information about this historic environment to interested members of the public in Wales. And lastly, to identify ways in which members of the public would like the Brinkethy D landscape project to develop in terms of research aims and strategies. The research methods were on the 16th of June this year, the, which was the site open day, we conducted a visitor survey at Brinkethy D. The survey contained 19 questions, which we asked people to fill out themselves or we would take down their answers um, after they've completed a tour of the site. We asked people who were in groups to fill out the survey representing all the views of the people in their group. Participant names were not recorded anywhere and their postcodes aren't collected, meaning it's not possible to identify individuals from this data collection. Members of the public were briefed about data collection, retention and the use prior to completing the survey and they were given Sarah's email as a contact for further details, as well as details where the local museum is located, which is where the 2019 museum exhibition and public lecture series will take place. The intention was to use results from the survey to help develop the public engagement work in the subsequent years. The results, 58 surveys were completed on the day and one was emailed to Sarah after the event. The surveys were completed by people who in groups representing 241 visitors. And we ensured that only one survey per group was 
completed. This represents about 37% of the visitors to this year's Open Day. The vast majority of people visiting the site define themselves as British, English, Welsh or Cymric. The, <laughs> the person, one person defined themselves as European. There were three American visitors and one Australian visitor. The majority of visitors surveyed were adults with 21% aged 47 to 57 years old and 18% aged 58 to 69 years old. There was a trend to a more mature demographic in visitors at the open day. There are several reasons this age profile. The site is relatively remote. You need to live locally and walk or drive to visit it. While the open day is advertised locally, the facility for parking and the size of the monument means that the project directors deliberately kept the event small scale. Younger people seem to be less likely represented in this visitor's demographics. Um, the majority of people attending live re relatively locally, with about 55% of visitors living in North Wales. 16% um, of visitors lived in northwest England. 13% of visitors lived outside the UK with visitors from Australia, USA and Europe. <coughs> of the local visitors, a reasonable minority seem to be very interested in the monument. 24% of, of local people said the proximity of the monument itself was important in where they lived. However, the vast majority of people, 73%, stated that the monument had no personal or religious significance for them. The majority of these people seem to be visiting whilst visiting the region on holiday or as locals seeking an educational day out. Only 14% of those surveyed indicated that the solstice had any personal, spiritual or religious meaning to them. In contrast, a sizable percentage of people questioned, 37%, um, indicated that heritage was a prime factor in their choice of holiday destination. A significant percentage of people, 89%, privileged visiting heritage sites in person, even with the availability of online information about sites. So surprisingly, uh, perhaps for archaeologists and anthropologists, the setting of the heritage sites did not seem to be a specific concern for visitors. Um, only 64% of visitors agreed with the statement that changing the surrounding landscape of archaeological monuments would affect how or if they viewed the monuments. Um, of those that did recognize the importance of setting, there seemed to be strong support for its importance. Um, several people emphasized the importance of the site being of undisturbed landscape, preservation of the landscape, and the authenticity of the landscape. And one person even mentioned a specific archaeological, archaeological case study. Excuse me. Um, of the recent planning issues surrounding the old Oswestry Street Hill Fort, and the one person suggested that landscape was a means to get into the Neolithic people's heads and to understand how it was at the time of their living. Overall, 83% of respondents indicated that the open day tour had changed their interpretations of the site. Um, repeat comments were made about a better understanding of the complexity of the landscape that was needed um, and obtained, and the series of monuments, as well as the solar alignment for the solstice. Uh, and the paleo-environmental context and the importance of different geologies of the materials used in several of the monuments in the surrounding area, as well as the rock art panels within the landscape. In terms of future public engagement mechanisms of the project, lots of respondents were fairly non-committal for the most part uh, about the themes for future public lectures, uh, though there, were some support, there was some support for lectures as well. When asked what people who would like to learn about within the landscape project in the future, Respondents highlighted some of the themes that already exist in the project, including archaeoastronomy, um, the use of different geological resources, the history of place and of landscape, as well as ritual. And there was also a series of specific research objectives or questions that people would like to have answered. We have selected several to emphasize, and the research questions that people wanted answering in the future include... Yeah, I did do that. Cool. <laughs> the reason people who choose to settle here, and what did they value about the region? They'd also like to know more about the theories of what people living here use the site for, as well as their what they why they lived here. So sorry, that's actually my phone. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's in the yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Um, as well as the people who lived here, their beliefs and their ways of life, and how the rituals were performed uh, within the area as well. These research questions can have taken together to be excuse me. These research questions taken together can be seen as emphasis detail who choose to settle here and why, what these people believed and how they expressed these beliefs and rituals. Of course, our survey details the responses of a very self-selecting group. And I think I may have mixed this around, I'm sorry. 
No, I didn't. I'm doing the confession. Sorry. <laughs> Very nervous. If you, can, if you can't tell, with me going bright red. <laughs> so, of course, we're examining the opinions of people who are actively visiting a heritage site, which requires a degree of mobility and commitment to access. And the start of the open day this year was also exceptionally rainy, so there might be a represent. This might represent a end of the spectrum of people who are much more committed to visiting sites like this. So some of the challenges we faced started with the fact that we chose to undertake a survey rather than participant observation uh, for two important reasons. First, <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> First, participant observation presented a range of ethical considerations that we had to take into account. Um, second, we wanted to gather a range of quantifiable data, which we deemed was best achieved by a survey on a single day when the most amount of people would be present at the site. We also hope that by concentrating on the open day, we would be able to gather opinions from a range of people, including those who are not local and come from across the UK and from abroad to visit the site and the, mon and the surrounding area. Another challenge that we faced was the fact that none of us are Welsh language speakers and our accent's pretty bad as well. So <laughs> thus the idea of taking on participant observation may have come with language and translation issues and it may have resulted possibly in misinformation. Um, this was made evident when handing out the surveys, talking as when we were talking to the public, as many members of the Welsh community actually commented on our lack of knowledge of the Welsh language. Um, and issues of Welsh nationalism and national identity <coughs> raised themselves in ways in which people self-identified as Kimreg, uh, with suggestions for future research emphasis on the project of the rise of Welsh nationalism as well as the Druids. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so to conclude, people visiting Bryn Cathy the Open Day did so for a variety of reasons. For many, it was an occasional, an educational day out um, for both locals and for people who were visiting on holiday in the area, as well as a minority attached to spiritual or religious importance to the site um, and to the solstice time of year. The greatest percentage of people who visited were from North Wales, followed by people from Northwest England. Um, and the majority of people who were surveyed and represented on the survey were over the age of 47. Uh, it was also noted that a great majority of people highly value being physically present at the site, even if there is digital content available for them to experience the site online. Um, and both place and landscape are themes that are repeatedly mentioned to visitors at the open day. Many also noted they particularly enjoyed the avail availability of tours and of lecture series and uh, other activities that were available at the site on the open day. Other themes people were interested in include the archaeoastronomy, the use of different geological resources, as well as the history of place, landscape, and ritual, and uh, according to our feedback. And asked what themes in particular respondents would like to learn about, there seemed to be two trends. First, um, when we asked about what they would like lectures and research aims to be focused on, uh, they most a large percentage of people said they wanted anything archaeological, which is... <laughs> Give it to them. So, so this might indicate that members of the public value the expert voice and specialist knowledge. Um, in contrast, other respondents identify questions that emphasize the details and the specifics of the site itself. Um, we selected four research suggestions from our respondents that we think are indicative of this emphasis on the subjects, on the specifics. This includes what we mentioned before, which is the reasoning behind why people chose to settle here, what they valued about the region, theories behind why they lived at this site, um, who were the people, their beliefs, and their ways of life, and the rituals that they performed. Um, we're also aware that the responses we elicited are likely to represent a very specific self-selecting group of people within the area, um, which may in turn underrepresent some people with interest in Bryn Cathlivy, specifically or in prehistory in general. Um, and as a result, we're hoping to launch a modified version of this survey online, um, and we'll be interested to see if the responses differ significantly, which hopefully they do from our previous <laughs> survey format. So that is everything, and thank you very much for your time and for your attention. Thank you.